We're fighting the battle. This girdle is on there solid, like, so. Uh, I've been looking around and, and reaching out to people and asking for help, trying to figure out what the, what the best way to get this thing off is. We're gonna, we're gonna give it another shot. Uh, I had some friends in the uh, Facebook groups who are, you know, mechanic, mechanically inclined and known for, for doing bigger things. And, uh, and basically what they told me was a pry bar and some balls is all I need. Reply, cool. Hey, it's us. Hi. Hi everybody. So the child says here in that spot. And here in this spot. But those are really narrow passages. And I don't think I can get even this guy. Like see how odd that is? Like you can't even so you gotta find a narrow pry bar. Holy crap, you gotta be kidding me. Where is this guy? Just a, a little. A little bit more here. <clears throat> Sweet. Crank is free. Well, now it's free. <laughs> crank, crank is now removable. And we're in good shape. Except I don't have a place to put the crank. Look at all this. Look. Look at this. There's so much of it. It's unreal. Look, I can peel it off. The crank is free. So now we can take out the oil squirters and unbolt this bolt from the crank for the last time. Remove the crank and stack it. Yay. Happy, 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 happy. So now we can do the finish the teardown and then we'll be ready to rock. So let's get a ridge blade real quick. Which is right here. Let's just trim this fat. Let's sweep some junk away from the corner here. Because this is where the crank will live. Yep, that's that's heavy. That seal, we're not gonna reuse because I don't, I don't know anything about it. So, you got these, these are main bearings. You got one, two, three, four, and five. And then on this guy, you got these. These are your thrust bearings. These are what kind of keep everything intact. That direction. Not sure how to get them out. This one just kind of wanted to. Whoo boy, that's got some heat in it. You can see that it's all multi-colored and and whatever. Looks like it moved. Compare the two. Here, pick up the light. Kick the light on here. Okay, so, see the difference? So, just colored that one is, maybe? Shh. 
this side. I'm gonna look at the, the girdle here in a minute. See how the girdle's all jacked up. Check you there. Check you there. Definitely, definitely seen some life. Care less about the bearings now, but they do tell a story. This one's got some some marks to it. Interior here's all messed up. Little discoloration there. I don't think we're in Hertzville yet on this motor. Not that it can't be fixed at least. That was a little bit discolored towards the top. Got our oil squirters here. Gonna kind of come out. And your thrust. Definitely got some chewed upness here. You see it. All these bearings could be replaced. These just kind of stick in there temporarily with the goop. So that's half the puzzle. Let's go ahead and rip these out, get it off the stand, and oh, this is this is lighter. I can carry this. Sweet. Bearings out. Set that there. Be good. Be Gucci. There we go. Just like that. The block is down to straight aluminum, other than the, the one coolant guy. We good. We good. There you go. All the oil squirters out. Yeah, I feel much better. It's like I get sick of not making progress. And my body's like, no! It gets all pissed off and really hates me about it and that kind of stuff. But breaks up. It's about time. Go! What's up? The, uh, the lower half, or the upper half is done. Maybe a little bit of house cleaning on the, uh, the edge for the gasket still, maybe the outside of the block if I really want to get OCD, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. You know, stuff like this, like the gasket here. Happily, the block is apart. Okay, girdle. I need a place for a girdle. Hi, Mom. Okay. Alright, so I kind of did some cleanup here. We're going to start on the other side just to be consistent with how we stack those. Um, so you can see these look like they're totally... Garbaggio. But the good news is, is this side looks nice. So, that's all I care. This side, again... It looks good. Um, this one so, yeah, looks alright. I mean, there's no huge grind or uh, like vertical grinds or you know rotational grinds in it, which means we didn't spin, which is good. Oh, it's savable. That's okay. Look at the grind in that. You can feel it. Huge. The actual surface of the girdle looks okay. And then you got this guy, which has got mountains compared to where you're supposed to be at. But, overall, then we got whatever material, but I mean, things look healthy, you know, as far as this part goes. The bearings are trash, but not a, not a ton of detail here, but sadness, sad news is, is uh, the build's going to halt now until I get pieces for that. 
Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Figure out what we need on that. Obviously, it needs valves, but it's a lot of caked on crap. Here we go. Just trying to hit up a couple spots here before I call it. Call it done. There's two options. One, we build this as a temporary, rip that one out, do the exact same thing, and then build. Which at that point we have more options because then we have a known A2 that worked and ran for, we know mileage, we know everything. And uh, realistically we can do it for, we can do other things like K24A2. Either way, this car just has to stay up. So if this we could build without power and it'll just drive for another 20,000 miles or whatever without, you know, something like this causing problems, that may not even be a problem. I don't know, but a lot of it just comes back. At this point, we're kind of holding pattern because we got to wait to see what the machine shop says. If the machine shop says you got problems with this thing and you need to, you know, this block or certain parts of the block are kind of like, this is good, you know, that's bad. Because this side didn't look bad at all. But this side's bad. Then I have to find another girdle, another block, another rotating assembly. But the head's good, then. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that's got to go, but either way, here we, this is where we sit. We're going to get new pistons, new rings, new main bolts, new main bearings, new connector rod bearings. We're going to get that thing completely worked. We're going to check the head, get that checked. I'm pretty sure that thing's flashing because it needs water. Um, new guides, new chain, new tensioner. Those are all going to be OEM uh, replacements. This is where we sit. This is... This is uh, A2, you know, all that stuff's got to be replaced. I already have a tensioner. Um, I need an oil p uh, pump, I believe is what, where did I put the oil, oh, the oil pump sitting over there in the, uh, whatchamacallit, so the oil pump should be, I'm, I'm just going to go through and replace all the core critical stuff. I'm going to replace that part with the AAV valve. going to get the, wherever it is, I think it's, it's on this side, the VTEC solenoid adapter deal. Gotta get that. Um, that block's gotta be put back on to clean. Um, I'll probably put that back on. And the girdle as well. The girdle's probably gonna go back on here just naked. Um, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. That way everything's together. I'm just to lighten up the weight on that uh, table. I'm gonna move the head here. Take a look at it one more time. The biggest thing I see right now is all the coolant passages are kind of caked with crap. Um, that much crap like this, or the, the valves are just toast or rusty. All kinds of crap. You can definitely see right here how it's kind of burnt out. So it definitely blew a head gasket there as well. You can see how it's just kind of in between everything. This thing probably blew a head gasket after it blew the guides. So the guides in this thing, oh, cool. We got oil drill, oil spill, more Exxon Valdez. Oh, we apparently still got all these guys in here too. But these came out. Either way, uh, it's about going to do it for this short episode. Um, I wasn't sure how long uh, how long it was going to take for me to do all this, but uh, as you can see, we're ready to rock. Everything you're seeing is going to snowball probably times two because we've now torn down this one. we got to rebuild it, or, and we're going to turn it off to the machine shop and rebuild it. But then after that, 
we're going to swap it into this guy once he's ready to roll and then or once this motor's ready to rock we're going to pop it in this one in the the end of the uh rsx and then once that one's out we're going to rip it apart figure out what's up with that and then we're going to probably rebuild that one and either do one of two things sell it or maybe get another project car i don't know case watch everything so i don't know so either way again uh until next time take it easy and we'll see you later i'm a true champion